Happy Wednesday, people. It is Nicolasa, and I received in the mail my last piece that I think I'm going to have, honestly, this time before I leave out of town, out of Buffalo. Um, I'm leaving in two weeks, and I did order this last thing from BST, and um, you'll be happy because I did stop myself from ordering pistachio uh, yesterday when the release came out for Jillio. <laughs> so I, I won't have that to share with you um, before I leave town. This is a Vanderspec um, A6 that I'm, look at that, that I am using for my wallet. As you guys know, I am using the A6 for a wallet and planner at the same time. I've posted a video on the Jillio, which happens to be underneath right there. Thank you so very much um, to the woman who sold me this from Vanderspeck Sales. She also included this lovely um, cloth and paper, which I do not have the pleasure of owning right now, any cloth and paper items. So she included this um, pack of post-its. So I thought that was really cool. Thank you for the nice little gift. <clears throat> Today, what I want to do with you is I've already moved into this because it's easy to do. And that was my entire point when creating this wallet planner combo is that I could be able to take my current wallet and just move right in. So as you can see, um, and I like I said, I've done a video on the Jillio before, the Apunto. So I was using this as a wallet and now I'm using the Vanderspec um, today as of today similar layout okay on the two <clears throat> but I also want to show you just for a second because this video is for this lovely thing look at that at first I thought I'd be freaked out by these bumps on it because I'm, a, I'm the type of person that doesn't like holes or patterns or whatever and um as I was staring at it I was like oh my god I think I'm gonna be sick um but not not that way I was just I was being being crazy but um it I do have a little phobia of like holes and stuff so I didn't know how I would take to this, but I actually like it. It's actually soft. Um, it is stiffer than the Campania um, leather, you know, from Jillio, which makes sense. It's a textured leather, so it's just a little stiffer, but nothing major. Um, let's get inside, and then I'm going to do a comparison of the two. Nothing has changed on my interior. This is my Muji insert that I use on a week, uh, you know, monthly and weekly basis. The difference I will get into in just one second, but I've already loaded up my credit cards and there is no big back pocket on this one. That was a little drawback, but I had to, um, I had to touch this and have it. I, I, I wanted it. Um, I have my pen here. I'm waiting for my Jillio pink pen to come in. I'm going to use that in here. And then I like the fact that there's two pen uh, loops in this one. All right. From a <clears throat> comparison standpoint, excuse me, please. I'm still under the weather. Um, I, there are the same amount of credit card slots in the Jillio Apunto. You have one, two, three, four, two, three, four at the top and one deep slip pocket at the bottom. On the Vanderspec, you have one, two, three, four, five. So an extra credit card slot, and you do have a bottom pocket, but it is not as deep as the Apunto. But either way, you still have another pocket. On the Apunto, you have a slip pocket here that I use for cash. I had to switch that on my Vanderspec and use it here. Again, guys, I only carry a couple dollars because they get spent on coffee. You also have another deep pocket here, which I have um, some coupons in there and some other little papers, nothing major there. Here on the Apunto, this is not a pocket. It looks like one, but it isn't. You just have that pocket there, okay? And in fact, I'm glad I did that because I left some of my cards inside of here. Um, by way of comparison, next, I have my... Um, book here, my Muji um, book insert, and of course on the back my decorations and stuff. I have it slipped into this pocket here on the Apunto. You have that similar pocket. Notice you do not have another pocket here. Again, you could customize this and get that, but it's not here. And also there is no um, <clears throat> zipper to put your coins on this one. Um, again, I'm not sure if you could do all of that. I'm very new to Vanderspeck and Jaleo, um, so I'm not sure of that right now, but either way. I like having the differences. It's like I have two different wallets, of course, because they're not going to always be the same. This one has the big back pocket, <clears throat> and I really, really, really love this one. I love the clasp. I love the texture, and I love the way it feels. It's just beautiful. 
This one, love it too. Love the fact that there's another pen loop. Like I said, I do have to break this guy in or this girl in because um, she's new and she needs to be broken in. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I think I've reached planner peace. I think I told you guys that. Um, I'm not sure yet, so I'm not going to call it. But I think that I have um, because I love A6. I didn't think I would love A6, guys. Um, I just was, I was in a traveler's notebook and I ordered a traveler's notebook in an A6 and I didn't really care for it. That's my Naya Papari. You can see how thick it is. This is really cool. Um, but I'm loving, I'm loving the A6 size people. All right. I want to show you something. <clears throat> um, I want to show you my bag. This is a regular just hobo. It's a regular size. It's not big, small, medium. It's a lucky brand hobo. And of course, of course, the um, A6 fits inside with no problem. What I had been loading up my bags with was the in the Louis Vuitton to show, because that's what people have, you know, to show you kind of like if it fits in there. Of course, that fits in there with absolutely no problem. And this is, if I zoom, zoom out, sorry, this is a medium-sized bag. This isn't a big bag. Okay, you can see it right there. It's a Lucky Brand Hobo. Just my everyday toss, you know, I need a tosser. Um, and then when I want to get dressed up, that's when I put on, you know, my Louis or something like that. But that's my tosser, especially because I have kids. All right, and I don't need it messed up. All right, so love the versatility. Love the ability to just throw my planner slash wallet in my purse, grab it when I need it and know what I'm supposed to be doing for the day um, without having my planner at home. What I was doing is I had a B6, I've had a personal, I've had it all. And personal does fit inside of the bag too. I've talked about this before. <clears throat> the differences with personal is for me, it was heavier, it was a lot more bulk, and I did a lot more decorations on it. And my point is, I don't really need to do all of that for just a wallet. But, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I still love my decorations, folks, okay? I'd still love them. So when I saw this B6 Codex by Vanderspeck on the buy, sell, trade, I had 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 to have it, okay? I'm going to go into this for you too. And the reason I'm going into this is because I want to let you know this is what I'm doing. I'm using these as wallets. I'm going to have every color because I'm going to change them out depending on what purse I'm carrying, okay? They're wallets slash planners. For this one, I'm using this as my event planner or things that are going on. Like, for instance, right now I am moving from New York to Georgia in two weeks. And I've been planning that, but I've been putting that in a big folder, now I'm putting it in here. So this will be used for event planning um, or things that are going on. It is the classic. Now, Vanderspeck calls it a codex. These are codex. Uh, Gilio calls it an apunto. Okay, so that's an apunto with Gilio. <coughs> Excuse me. The classic design is to have the smaller pebbles towards the um, binder part or where you would normally have rings and towards the edge a bigger pattern that's what I see a lot you can flip and do the reverse if you want to this is croco print meaning it is not real crocodile this is ostrich print it's not real ostrich they do have some that are real those are more and more and more expensive okay love the thick clasp I think this is an A5 clasp right here I absolutely love it if you get inside, you will see that I have a few decorations in here from the Planner Society. Those are nothing but uh, die cuts from the Planner Society. And guys, this interior is Boys Do Rose. It is darker than Parm or Parme, and I saw this and I had to have it. I did not need it. I could have steady planned in the uh, you know notebook that I had, but I that wasn't good enough. I had to have this. All right, <laughs> I have a die cut, um, not die cut. I have a washi card here. It's just an old credit card with some washi. Um, I do plan on getting like an actual washi card. I have it somewhere, but 
<clears throat> you will note that I don't have a lot of decorations here and that's simple and that's because I'm moving. Everything's kind of packed up, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six credit card slots along with a slip pocket at the bottom. I did go ahead and take my velvet from my, I made this from my, um. it's just a velvet piece of paper that I cut to size and punched holes in and I had a saying here, but I, I removed it um, because I use this in my personal planner. And since I don't have that anymore, rather than throwing out my paper, I always keep my stuff. And I really like the way that's hitting, hitting against the boys de rose. Very pretty. Very pretty. I have a slip pocket here, a slip pocket here. I could still put stuff in here even though I have my decoration there. This is another Muji um, book from Amazon and I'm using this one <clears throat> as, like I said, my planner for events and this stays home. I don't carry this with me, although this baby fits in my purse too. Fits in both my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 and it fits in the purse you just saw, okay? Only difference is more bulk okay and I don't want to carry that around I got two little ones all right right here my